Hello everyone, to a slightly different recap of yesterday because it's very late, I already saw the next game which was uh, Ukraine against Slovakia, Ukraine winning 1-0 on a penalty in front of an empty house, shirts, we already saw, I talked about the Ukraine shirt which looked nice, the Slovakia shirt in action is a little bit epilepsy inducing, but I wanted to talk about yesterday's games uh, that I saw, I started off with Northern Ireland against um, Bosnia and Herzegovina, uh, now I saw the Bosnia Herzegovina uh, away jersey, which is white, blue with a blue stripe, the Morocco template in blue. It was actually quite nice to see uh, green against blue being played. It's something you don't see very often. Uh, and yeah, the game was weird. Uh, Northern Ireland put a lot of effort in there and didn't make the goals. And um, Bosnia made out of three chances two goals. And didn't do much more. Uh, as a fan of Austria who has to play these teams, I did not get scared by either one of these teams. But then again, I made the joke yesterday, uh, Northern Ireland is all effort and no substance. Bosnia is all substance and no effort and Austria is no effort and no substance. We'll see where it goes. Uh, I think Northern Ireland did not deserve to lose this game. Uh, I have to say that uh, as is, I loved their jerseys. They were really great. Um, I also thought that the Bosnia even, uh, jersey, even though it's a template, it didn't look that bad. I actually, this is a template that I like. Uh, maybe the Morocco one, um, I could have used more green. I saw how Lyon is doing it and this was actually the uh, best version of that template. So yeah. Um, the other game that I watched, of course, was uh, England against Spain. Uh, jersey matchup of England, of course, in the home jerseys, which I liked a lot, and Spain with their usual uniform except with white pants, which looked horrible. Um, it looked more like Egypt than Spain. I thought the whole game, uh, despite watching game, which was a really, really good game, um, I gotta give it uh, England, despite the limit limitations, I really think they're trying to play a good style of soccer. Um, and maybe they can get something together. But yeah. Uh, I thought about the jersey matchup. I think if England would have played in all white and then Spain could wear their reg reg kit, it might have looked better. Also, I understand, I'm always for because with Germany against France, Germany played in all white and France in all blue, which I didn't like. I think there I would have liked white, black pants, uh, white for Germany and France in their traditional tricolor uh, shirts. Now we got tricolor shirts but <laughs> in with the red on top and white it doesn't look Spanish. I thought if they go that way why don't we use yellow pants that would have made more sense or you know as I said all white and let Spain play in their home kit I think it would have looked better although I like my England with uh, dark blue pants maybe not with a monochromatic crest on the uh, pants but overall uh, the England kit looked nice. The game yeah Rashford, after a beautiful pass by Luke Shaw, made it 1-0. Uh, Saul almost immediately equalized. And I think this was the break point in the game that Spain got quick back so quickly. Uh, they could get the 1-1 one, one, and then you could see, uh, again, it's similar to Northern Ireland against Bosnia. A lot of effort by England, but the substance was more there for Spain. That's the big difference, I think. And yeah. So it went, Spain even made the second goal where the offset trap for England didn't work that well. Um, yeah, Rashford should have equalized, but the hair made a great say, uh, save. And uh, second half, we saw Spain, how Spain goes, um, keeping possession, 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 and uh, England didn't see the uh, ball for at least the first half hour. Yes, it was surely helped by the injury of Luke Shaw. I don't know uh, whether we know anything more about his status, but it didn't look good. And yeah, I think this got England a little bit off track on in the last 20, 20 minutes. They got a little bit more of the game. Uh, tried to get an equalizer. Uh, Rashford had another great chance. Um, and yeah, I think who came on well back made the 2-2. Two -two. I understand why the call was made that it did not count, but he didn't do a thing. I mean, this is the the weird thing on that call. So yeah, Spain won it 2-1. Probably they were the better team, but I thought that England would have deserved to draw in that one. Other games that we had yesterday, uh, let me go back for the day. I forgot the Romania-Macedonia. Uh, 
uh, Montenegro uh, game uh, yesterday in my roundup. I watched the State. It was a 0-0. Zero, zero. Only remarkable because I like the Romanian shorts a lot. So, yeah. Sorry about Romania if I forgot about it. It was a 0-0, zero, zero, so I forgot. Now, I will only talk about the games that I really watched closely, the highlights. That was, of course, Switzerland against Iceland. 6 nothing. I couldn't believe it when I saw the result. We were out eating uh, and I came back and I saw it was 5 nothing. and then 6 nothing. Cannot believe uh, that Iceland gets slaughtered by such a scoreline. But yeah, uh, Switzerland, I think, wanted to exercise the demons from the World Cup and let it all rip. And yeah, I don't know what this means for Iceland. It, does this mean that Iceland is past its peak or that the World Cup was too much? I guess we're gonna see. I mean, Belgium is not an easy opponent than Switzerland. Um, doesn't look good for Iceland, at least. Uh, on a first look, uh, of course, then there were a few groups, uh, League C, not Group C, League C games um, with Finland against Hungary. Uh, also, Jersey matchup there looked okay. Uh, Jersey matchup for Switzerland against Iceland. Well, as expected, nothing to talk much about. Um, Finland against Hungary, I think it was a little bit surprising, one nothing victory. Uh, but the way the game went, I think uh, Finland should have made Pro even two. Uh, they all played in the classic kits. I really miss seeing Hungary more often with the red, white and green uh, socks. I think it's a great look, very classic look that we should see at the big tournament soon again. Finland, of course, in white and blue. Um, I think it was a nice matchup. And then the other game was Estonia against Greece, uh, which was jersey-wise interesting because Estonia plays in the national color. So we have a blue shirt, black pants and white socks. Because of the white socks, uh, Greece has to play in white with blue socks, which looks weird if that happens. But yeah, Greece um, won one nothing and probably should have won by more. I think it was a well-deserved victory. Um, and there you go. Of course, Belarus. I think I saw Belarus uh, beating up on a minnow that I cannot remember now, but it was a 5 nothing. And there were some other uh, League D games. I saw the highlights, but nothing really to talk that uh, I stick with me now. Well, it's a little bit late that I post this uh, that I will um, that I make this video and I will post this video probably overnight. So probably you will see this only the day after. And my recap of uh, tonight's games will probably also post later. We have the first day of school coming up for my older daughter. So you know, it has been a busy morning, a busy day, and will be a busy day tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, I keep my 8:30 evening slot, but the morning slot will be a little bit shaky. Uh, today tomorrow maybe a few more days but i promise 8 30 in the evening you always get a hopefully a jersey world video or something else let me know which games you watched so far what you thought about all especially england spain uh, but if you watched any other other game that i talked talked about to let me know as well uh i know at least of some greeks that are watching here and yeah uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked my assessment, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these or more Jersey videos. I'm going to do now a few Jersey videos from those that we have here and I will talk to you soon. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.